Okay, remember that if we want to find a unit vector that has the same direction as a certain vector, what you do is you take the vector and you divide it by its own magnitude. This seems like a sort of a stupid skill, but unit vectors are gonna become very important later on when you do lots of things with integration that depend on unit vectors going in certain directions. So just stick with me on this one. The unit vector, if we call this V, the unit vector in V's direction is vector V divided by its own magnitude. So we need to find the magnitude of it first. What is the magnitude of this? It's the square root of negative four squared plus two squared plus another four squared. Negative four squared is 16. That's four and another 16. 16 and four is 20. 16 more is 36. I just love it when square roots end up being nice numbers. So this is divided by uh, six. Vector V divided by six. Well, this is, you know, this is most of the way to the right answer. But really what you want to do is write it ultimately as like a real honest to goodness vector with the brackets and everything, and even bring it inside. So one sixth multiplied through would be negative four sixths comma two sixths comma four sixths. And yes, we are going to reduce it, not just because I hate saying sixths, everybody hates saying that, but four over six cancels down to negative two thirds. Two over six is one third. And four over six is another two thirds. And let me see, let's say maybe I don't really believe that this has a magnitude of one, which is the definition of a unit vector. So let's say that I decide I'm gonna take the, the magnitude of that, magnitude of it. And that's going to be square root of negative two thirds squared plus one third squared plus two thirds squared. Two thirds squared is four thirds and then one third and then another four thirds. So four thirds plus one third plus another four thirds. Uh, oh, you know what? I'm so stupid. That Those aren't threes on the bottoms, those are nines because they've been squared on the top and bottom. Hooray for math, huh? So four ninths plus one ninth plus four ninths is nine ninths. Nine ninths is one, which is exactly the size that we were looking for. It is a unit vector after all. 